السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شرال صدری و یسر العمری و لطت اللسان یفقه قولی صلی اللہ علیہ و آله و سلم আমাদের আজকের বিষয়বস্তু আজকের লেকচারের বিষয়বস্তু হলো সেলস অফ দা ইমিউন সিস্টেম সেলস অফ দা ইমিউন সিস্টেম হলো আজকে আজকের লেকচারের বিষয়বস্তু lesson plan holo the cells of the immune system number their properties function development and if we get time we will also discuss about the hematopoiesis if not we will just we will take another lecture what are the cells of the immune system cells of the immune system you all know main cells are lymphoid cells lymphoid cells consist of b lymphocyte t lymphocytes natural killer cells <coughs> mononuclear phagocytes they are also cells of immune system they are monocyte macrophages and dendritic cell besides polymorphonuclear cells or granulocytic cells that is neutrophil eosinophil basophil mast cell and platelets are also the cells of immune system so lymphoid cell mononuclear phagocytes polymorphonuclear cells and platelets and this is the normal adult cell count you all know about this and this is the picture of the hematopoiesis and you see from the lymphoid stem cell b cell t cell and natural killer cell are coming and from the myeloid stem cell the monocyte neutrophil eosinophil and basophils are coming let us discuss about the lymphoid cells lymphoid cells they constitute 20 to 40% of the body's wbc why they are called lymphoid cells because 99% of the cells remain in the lymph not in the blood and in our human body more than 10 10000 crores 10 to the power 10 to 10 to the power 12 lymphoid cells in the human body huge number they circulate in the blood and lymph and they migrate into the tissue species and the lymphoid tissues when they are lymphocyte mature their size is very small 6 micrometer contain a single nucleus little visible cytoplasm and they are nucleus t lymphocytes and the b lymphocytes they cannot be differentiated from each other morphologically they are non phagocytic cells once stimulated with the antigen they enlarge 15 micron into a blast cell that is arai gun beshi 2.5 lymphoblast further differentiate into effector cell or memory cell and they are known as plasma cell t helper cell or cytotoxic t cell <clears throat> this memory cells they are long lived that reside in the g0 phase of the cycle and until activated by a secondary antigen in encounter they remain in the body as such and different lineages or different maturational stages of lymphocytes can be distinguished by their expression of cd molecule cluster of differentiation molecule so for example you know about cd4 cd28 cd25 etc they are called t lymphocytes because they mature in the thymus and they recognize only peptide antigen by their tcr receptor when presented with msc molecule this thing i uh, say repeatedly to differentiate from b cell receptor b cell receptor recognizes any antigen without processing and without presented with msc molecule there are three types of t cells t helper cell also known as cd4 t lymphocytes cytotoxic t cell cd8 plus and regulatory t cell cd4 plus cd25 and the ratio of t helper to cytotoxic t cell is 2 is to 1 so t helper cell are much more in number than cytotoxic t cell and their function is also more than cytotoxic t lymphocytes what are the uh, t lymphocyte markers tcr cd4 or cd8 cd28 cd45 now b lymphocytes they are known as b, b cells because of their maturation site which in case of hemming it is bone marrow 
The major function of B lymphocytes is the production of antibodies when, when in, in response to foreign proteins of bacteria, virus, tumor cell, etc. Antibodies are a specialized protein. We also call them as a disease fighting protein. They specifically recognize and bind to a particular protein, particular protein with which it reacts. About 1.5 lakh of antibody molecule, I repeat, 1.5 lakh of antibody molecule present on the surface of a single B cell molecule. And this surface immunoglobulin acts as receptor for antigen. And when a naive B cell encounters an antigen, it differentiates into the effector cell called plasma cell. And after the function as antibody secretion cell, and after the fight, they differentiate into memory cell. This plasma cell secretes antibody. Mm -hmm. How much antibody? A single plasma cell can secrete few hundred to many thousand antibody per second. Few hundred to many thousand antibodies per second. Put the second day quite short, take a quiet hazard antibody. <clears throat> How can we identify the cells using CD nomenclature? CD means cluster of differentiation. There are over 300 CD markers. T cell marker is commonly CD4, CD8, CD3. B cell marker is CD19. Natural killer cell marker is CD56. Monocyte or macrophage marker is CD14. Dendritic cell marker is CD1C, CD11C. These are the common CD markers used to distinguish functional lymphocyte subpopulation. You can see here from CD2 to CD56. And commonly you see CD4, you all know the helper cell, CD8, cytotoxic T cell, and CD28, cytotoxic T cell. You can just go through this at your own time. B lymphocyte markers, there are surface immunoglobulin is a marker, MSC class 2 is also a marker, FC gamma receptor 2, B7, CD14, 40, all these are markers of B lymphocyte. Phenotype markers to distinguish lymphocyte subset, B cell has CD19+, plus, T helper cell CD4+, plus, cytotoxic T cell CD8+. Plus. And regulatory T cell, you have seen CD4 plus CD25. Fate of an antigen activated a small B lymphocyte when an antigen meets with an NT uh, and B cell containing the surface immunoglobulin. It is after division into lymphoblast, then it produces, it becomes plasma cell, secretes antibody, and again, it becomes a memory cell. So a small lymphocyte is only six micron in diameter. When it converts into blast cell, this is 15 micron diameter, and plasma cell is also 15 micron diameter. What are the, you can see at a glance, the classes of lymphocytes, B lymphocytes, when it recognizes antigen, it becomes Blast plasma cell secretes antibody. These antibody are disease fighting proteins, and we discussed in the antibody uh, lecture. Then, after binding with the specific antigen, there is neutralization, phagocytosis, complement activation, agglutination, many things. Helper T cell, when they comes in contact with microbial antigen by the antigen presenting cell, they secrete cytokines. These cytokines. They play important role in activation of macrophage, inflammation, and activation and proliferation of T and B lymphocytes. There are cytolytic T lymphocytes, cytotoxic T lymphocytes, when they come in contact with the uh, infected cell expressing microbial antigen, they thus kill the infected cell. That's why they are known as cytotoxic T lymphocytes. Along with the antigen, they kill the cell also. Natural killer cell, when they come in contact with the target cell, they also kill 
they infect the cell in their own way. Phases of lymphocyte activation, you all see naive T or B lymphocyte, they not comes in contact with the antigen. When comes in contact with the antigen, they are activated and become effector cell. And these effector cell, they become antibody secreting cell. And after the fight, they become memory cell. And these effector cell, if they do not become memory cell, they will go apoptosis. Similarly, naive T lymphocyte on antigen stimulation become large lymphocyte and the effector cell as cytotoxic T lymphocyte and some of them, after the fight, some will be died by the process of apoptosis and a few will remain as memory cell. And if comes in contact with the same antigen again, they will mount immune response, secondary immune response. Now, natural killer cells. Natural killer cells, they are large granular lymphocytes. They can kill many types of tumor cells and some virus infected cells. They constitute 5 to 10 percent of lymphocytes in the peripheral blood. They do not express classical lymphocyte marker like CD4, CD8, etc. They express low F affinity FC gamma R3. This is CD16 molecule. And using CD16 molecule, they can carry out ADCC, antibody dependent cell mediated cytotoxicity and reduction of MSC1 can activate them and MSC1 is reduced by viral infection or by any other things. There are some natural killer cell with T cell marker that react with CD1. This natural killer cell have got T cell receptor. They react with CD1 and when activated they secret cytokine for production of antibody by B cells. How B and T cell recognize foreign antigens? I repeat this in many lectures to just give an imprint in your mind. B cell can recognize any antigen, protein, peptide, polysaccharide, without processing, without MSC. But T cell lymphocyte has some limitation. T cell receptor can uh, recognize only processed peptide with MSC, MSC molecule. So again, we are saying T cells only recognize antigen associated with MSC molecule on cell surfaces and cytotoxic T cell only restricted to MSC1 molecule and helper T cell, they react only with MSC2. This is called a rule of two. Cytotoxic T cell is CD8, so 8 into 1, 8. Helper T cell CD4, 4 into 2 again eight. Null cells, they do not express classical lymphocyte markers. They are predominantly natural killer cells and they eliminate tumor cells and viral infect cell. They have low affinity FC gamma receptor three. Uh, this is animation, but it is not working here. Monocytes and macrophages. Mononuclear cells, they are monocytes in the blood and in the tissues they are macrophages. Tissue monocytes, <clears throat> five to 10 times smaller than macrophage. Macrophage increase phagocytic activity. They are known as macrophage because big eater. They secrete cytokine and produce hydrolytic enzymes. They are named based on tissue they recite. For example, alveolar macrophage in the lungs, kufar cells in the liver, microglial cells in the brain, and osteoclast in the bone. They are activated by gamma interferon cytokine. And they have antigen presenting capacity through MHC2 molecule. This is a uh, relative comparative picture of monocyte and macrophage. Macrophage are effective antigen presenting cell. We will have one another lecture how macrophage acts as antigen processing cell. Macrophage also captures bacteria and they are the key cell of the immune system. They play a role in innate immunity, antibody mediated immunity, and cell mediated immunity. So I, re I repeat, macrophages are the key cell of the immune system. They play a role in three types of immunity. Innate immunity as a non-specific phagocytic cell, 
antibody mediated immunity as antigen presenting cell and cell mediated immunity as antigen presenting cell as well as effector cell activated macrophages are important effector cell in cell mediated immunity monocyte circulate in the blood for 8 hours then migrate to different tissues and differentiate into macrophages there are named as i have said in the immediate before slide in the lung as alveolar macrophage in the connective tissue as histiocytes in the liver as kupfer cells in the kidney as messenger cells and in the brain as microglial cells what are their functions there are two types resting and activated their function includes phagocytosis b eater antimicrobial and cytotoxic activity antigen processing and presentation and secretion of many factors including cytokines these are the mediators and antimicrobial uh, factors of macrophage and neutrophils there are two types of killing oxygen dependent and oxygen independent in oxygen independent killing they use defensin tumor necrosis factor alpha lysozyme and hydrolytic enzyme in case of uh, oxygen dependent killing there are superoxide ion hydroxide radical hydrogen peroxide and hydro hypochlorite anion reactive nitrogen intermediates nitric oxide nitrogen dioxide nitrous acid some factors secreted by activated macrophages there are special factors interleukin 1 they promotes inflammatory response and fever and they are stimulate the anti t helper cell to become activated interleukin 6 and tumor necrosis factor alpha c alpha they promote innate immunity and elimination of pathogens complement proteins promote inflammatory response and elimination of pathogens hydrolytic enzyme promote inflammatory response interferon alpha activate cellular genes resulting in the production of proteins that confer antiviral state by degrading the messenger rna of virus tumor necrosis factor kill the tumor cells gm csa gcsa and mcs granulocyte monocytic colony stimulating factor granulocyte colony stimulating factor and monocyte colony stimulator they promote inducible hematopoiesis granulocyte granulocytic cells we know neutrophil eosinophil basophils all are granulocytic cells neutrophil constitute 50 to 70 percent of phagocytosis is in a field one to three percent against parasite not phagocytosis rather by some other mechanism basophils are non-phagocytic cell the allergic cell and neutrophils you see they circulate for five to seven hours then migrate to tissues they release from the bone marrow at a rate of seven million per minute shoktor lakh Forty minutes. It always shows up. But no, life is spent only two to three days. Produced in increased number from the bone marrow and the first cell to arrive at the site of inflammation, and that's why leukocytosis is indication of infection. Primary granules include bacterial enzymes, lysozyme, myeloperoxidase, neutral proteases, and acid hydrolases. Secondary granules include collagenous lactoferrin lysozyme and cathepsin b phagocytosis and killing of ingested microorganism require all these enzymes the phagosome fuses with the granules to destroy internalized bacteria and oxygen dependent respiratory bacteria occurs prothome gile fela tar pore hojom kore but they do not function as antigen presenting cell for antigen presenting cell there are macrophages and professional antigen presenting cells like dendritic cells this is a picture of neutrophil eosinophils they are bilobed nucleus with many cytoplasmic granules they comprise 2 to 5% of the blood leukocytes in a healthy non allergic person and when there is allergy there are uh, eosinophilia occurs a certain stimuli will cause eosinophils to degranulate this is the figure of eosinophil degranulation involves fusion of the intracellular granules with the plasma membrane and release of granule content into the extracellular environment 
And this type of action, these cells can only make against large pathogens, which cannot be affected by parasitic worms. So parasites are uh, expelled from the body by the action of the Eosinophils also release histamines and oral sulfates, which inactivate mast cell products like histamine. And the effect of eosinophil does dampen down the effect of inflammatory response. As you know, eosinophil bedajawa it is a protective karapna. Eosinophil to the beshi hoy that is indication of allergy, but she am adar ke protect kore. Basophils are found in a small number, 0.2 percent of leukocytes. And mast cells, which is not found in the circulation, is indistinguishable from the basophils. They are the basophils. Dendritic cells, this is very important. Dendritic cells are professional antigen presenting cells covered with long membranous excretions. That's why they are known as, they look like dendrites in the nervous tissue. That's why it's dendritic cells. They are identified by Paul Langerhans in 1868. There are four types of dendritic cells, circulating dendritic cells. They constitute 0.1% of blood leukocytes. Interdigitating dendritic cells found in T cell rich regions of secondary lymphoid tissue. They process and present antigen to the T cell. Interstitial dendritic cell found in most of the organs, lung, liver, heart, kidney. They process and present antigen to T cell. Langara cells found in the epidermis of the skin, they also process and present antigen to tissues. And so the dendritic cells arise from the myeloid and lymphatic, both lines. They present antigen to T helper cell. And along with MSC2 and co stimulator molecules B7, this is the picture of dendritic cell and their develop, developmental pathway, as I have said, both from myeloid and lymphoid progenitor. The lymphoid progenitor cell is known as a lymphoid dendritic cell, and others are named as Langerhans, interstitial, and myeloid dendritic cell. There are a special type of follicular dendritic cell known as follicular dendritic cell. They are not antigen presenting cell. They do not arise from the bin marrow and have different functions. They are localized in the lymph follicle, the, that region which is rich in B cell. They express high level of membrane receptor for antibody. They express receptor for complement also. Interaction of the B cell with follicular dendritic cell is an important step in the maturation and diversification of B cell. They do not express MSC2 molecules, so they do not act as antigen presenting cell. Antigen antibody complex shown to last very long weeks to months. So best wishes for you. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.